Hola, hola, hola. Hi, everyone. Woo-wee. Hello, my beautiful friends, my miracle buddies, my tribe. Of course, the miracles tribe on fire here. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a juicy, juicy live for you today. Juicy, juicy, juicy. If you want to understand what the Course of Miracles is teaching, but most importantly, how to live it. You've come to the right place. You've come to the right place. It's um like almost 11.30. I'll be here for a few minutes and share with you something I feel that you guys will really, really appreciate. Um, yeah, in the meantime, how are you guys loving these lives? Have you guys seen them? Is your first time here? I've been doing these lives on A Course of Miracles a few times a week. You can also find them on my YouTube channel. So on my YouTube channel, if you go to the link tree and you go to my YouTube channel, you can see these lives, the past ones I've done on there. And you can also see them on here. I think they're archived on here. Um, you can also get the 365 ACIM lessons. So if you guys are doing the workbook lessons, um, you can see them on YouTube. Um, welcome, excuse, excuse to enjoy. <laughs> I'm so happy it's your first time. Welcome. Georgina, welcome. Oh my God, we have a lot of people here um, that are here for the first time. Um, welcome. I'm, I appear to be Maria Felipe in form. I am just in consider myself um, a dear friend of you guys, a dear friend of A Course in Miracles, and just showing up in this world after battling a long time with not studying the Course in Miracles, well, studying it but not living it, um, knowing its principles intellectually but not living it, I've I've been appearing to show up in this world as as a beacon of, of this message, of really truly living it, of making no more exceptions and no compromises, and this message comes from a space of really, really experiencing that change, experiencing what is the barrier, and really attending to that barrier, to that block, and then hence showing up in the world and living this miraculous life that I'm living. I'm not saying that it's not hard sometimes. I'm not saying that I have it all together by all means. Hells, no, hells to the no. But I do know that as I've been, I've, as I've began to forgive more without exception, as I began to take care of myself, as I've began to live the Course in Miracles principles. Um, let me take off my earrings because it's, it's uh, gonna it's hitting my these things. Um, I have experienced my relationships in my life mirror to me such beauty. Um, what used to bother me doesn't bother me anymore. Um, I'm I'm just living in so much more peace, and I want this to be offered to everyone um, because you're me and I'm you, right? So we're in we're in this together. Welcome, 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 everyone! All those newbies. Um, if you're here for the first time, check out um, the live IGs. I've been doing IGs for a few months now, and they're on different themes, different topics. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, we're, we're here to go deep. We're here to have, you know, what, 10, 15 minutes of, of, of deep immersion of the course. Um, I want you guys to leave here inspired. I want you to think about me when you're at the grocery store and then be picking up, you know, that, that salad you're picking up or that fried chicken, whatever makes you happy. And um, just thinking about, wow, that IG just reminded me of something. You know, it reminded me to, you know, to really not hold that grudge or to really let go of this, this, this feeling of insecurity or whatever it might be, right? So that's what I would love for these sessions to be for us is just uh, remembering our true nature, which is what the Course is teaching us through our epic relationship with the Holy Spirit. And to begin to show up in the world in a whole new way, with a new, whole new perception. So, um, for those that, um, that know or don't know, I wrote a book called Live Your Happy Based on the Course in Miracles. Um, it's, I highly recommend it. It really, really helps to understand the course 
in, in a very deep way, but most importantly, how to live it. Um, I can't I can't stress it enough how much I struggled with the course. I, I met I met it in 1995. I began studying it in 2001. I began studying it, but but not really applying it and not really understanding it um, until until there was with a lot of hitting myself on on, on the head, um, a lot of looking for my happiness outside of myself, a lot of drinking, a lot of drugs, a lot of doing stuff that um, that you know I was I was about to die. <laughs> I realized I needed to be uncompromising with the course. I needed to begin to study it and live it, or I would begin to live a life that um, is is just really going towards the egoic state of mind and really taking me to really think and believe that I am, you know, a body and that I can be hurt um, and 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 live very lonely. So I decided to really take this 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 really uncompromising nature um, and begin to live this and then hence write a book about it and then start workshops on it and one-on-one -on -one coaching about it and, and things like that so this is a book live your happy and I want to read to you a little part here that I feel has everything to do with what I'm talking about everything to do with what I'm talking about and then I can take it from there are you ready ready so this is a section in, ch in chapter 49 if you have the book I know some of you have have bought the book and if you have please let me know how it's going how you love it um, or you don't love it, whatever. It's not, not personal, right? Um, page 49, becoming ready to be happy. Becoming ready to be happy. You might, you might be wondering what happened, right? So you've read my book, you've seen, you've realized my changes, and it says, what changed that allowed me to recognize I was the love of my life, right? So I have a chapter that's called, I am the love of my life. The truth is, before this happened, I really did not have any idea how my mind worked. I had no idea what my, how my mind worked. Did you? I didn't, I didn't have any idea. I was just going through life like a zombie. How my, and then I put, I was studying the Course in Miracles and other perspectives. So can you guys identify with studying a Course in Miracles and studying other teachers and doing other workshops and reading other books? Can you guys identify with this, right? But I was not experiencing what I was reading. So I wasn't experiencing what I was reading or what I was learning because my unconscious belief in separation prevented me from adopting a new outlook. What made the difference is that I was finally ready, right, it says here, I finally became ready to be happy. I finally became ready to be happy. I had to decide to choose happiness and only I could do so, okay? Only we could do so, only we can choose, make that choice and start to be uncompromising. Start to be uncompromising with the teachings, okay? Only I could do this. Books and courses could not decide, decide this for me, could not give this to me. We each are each the decision maker, because of course teaches us this, we're the decision maker. We are each the decision maker in our own lives and we tap into that power. We are, then we are ready to become, ready to live in miracles, to rumble in miracles. So, what changes? How can you live the course? How can you begin to wake up every morning and feel exhilarated? How can you wake up every morning and have incredible relationships? How can you, you know, not let that person trigger you? How can you be the love of your life? You know, it's very simple. And at the same time, since we live in a body, it seems that it's not, but it's very simple. And that is, you need to be very, 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 very willing. The Course of Miracles says all you need is a little bit of willingness and miracles happen, but I like to say you need big, fat willingness, okay? And I didn't say that out loud because that's a bad word, but you need willingness. I mean, big willingness. You need to be super willing because the, the illusion, the separation is so big, it's so profound, it's so in our face, it's easy to get distracted that we need to have zero in on our willingness with spirit and become uncompromising. uncompromising. How I began to live my life and really live a course is by forgiving even if I don't want to. I've been saying this many times. Do you guys think it's easy for me to forgive my, my husband sometimes? Do you think it's easy for me to feel like I'm not the victim? Um, do you think it's easy for me to go back and heal my grievances? Um, um, again, you see, Marcella says it's hard to have that willpower. Exactly. It's hard to have that willpower, especially in a body. But I have to say, with having that big willingness, with saying, okay, aquí para, that's it, let's stop it. Let's begin 
to to do this let's be let me begin to forgive even if i don't want to and just get through that wave that big big wave you know it's like i feel like it's like an ocean wave and it's so 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 scary and we don't want to we don't want to go down we don't want to go down the wave but we're like you know what i'm just ready to live my life i'm ready to live a happy life i'm ready to live the life that that god wants for me i'm ready to live my birthright happiness and to be i'm ready i'm so ready but there has to be that declaration there has to be the declaration with the action with the action like when you know when when i want to be the victim i stop it you know when i want to be the victim i stop it and i say yes you know what Christian, you know, my, my, which is my husband, you know, I, I totally want to feel like I'm the victim right now. I totally want to feel that my distress is coming from you. But ultimately, it can't. It can't. Because I am responsible for what I'm thinking and believing. I am responsible for my perception through fear or through love. And there's ultimately nothing that, that upsets me. What upsets me is the egoic thoughts I'm having, is the separation game I'm playing with myself. I'm a, we could, we're tricksters. And willingness is the key. So as we're studying the Course in Miracles, we need to just start to become very uncompromising and say, hey, you know what? I am going to live out this Course in Miracles lesson today. You know, there's 365 lessons. How can I epically live this lesson today? How can I, you know, if I want to, you know, start to be a victim in my relationship, how can I stop that? You know, um, um, you know, if, if, if I'm feeling like crap and, and, um, and, and I don't want to wake up early because I still want to sleep because I still don't want to get up and, 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 and have an incredible day. I just want to sleep and oversleep and I just want to eat like shit. You know, all these things, you know, I just, you know, I, I want to lose weight, but not really because I want to eat like crap or I want to have more energy, but not really because I want to sleep in all these compromises. Oh my God, I could go on and on. It's like, no. No, I'm going to wake up. No, I am I am going to have this nourishing meal. You know, and, you know, the Course in Miracles says, you know, the, this world is not real. The body is an illusion, right? This world is not real and the body is an illusion. But hey, guys, I don't know about you, but I experience a world. I experience a world. Okay, hold on a second. Wait a second. What is this? Do you guys see the palm tree back there? Do you guys see a fan going like this? Okay, well, I see it too. So that means that... I'm experiencing a vortex of reality of some kind with people, with humans, with myself, also speaking in this hum humanistic human world. So I like to play in this world. I'm not a teacher that likes to, and I like to call myself teacher. I like to call myself a friend because that's what I am, right? It's like, um, um, you know, it's, 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 and I lost my train of thought because there's all these like, like, um, trucks <laughs> coming down here, making so much noise. I hope that you guys don't hear it all but now the garbage truck is over there hang on a sec i'm gonna move because i'm on fire right now now you forgot what i was gonna say hang on oh my goodness it's gonna be people walking by here but i don't care let me go over here too much noise over there hang in there guys and i'll finish my thought if i can remember it oh okay yeah let me go this way So, you know, I can believe that, you know, um, I'm in a body and um, because I do believe it feels like I'm in a body. So I work from the body, you know, instead of being like, oh, denying the body or, you know, the body is not real. So I'm not going to I'm not going to eat well. I'm not going to work out. You know, the world is not real. So I'm just going to deny the world and stay at home and and just be, you know, resigned. No, guys, you know. God wants us to be happy, you know, and, and, and being happy is enjoying this beautiful dream, this beautiful world. And, and what's important is to change our perception about the world while we work out, while we eat the salad, while we wake up early. You know, there's like this whole denying, you know, the body or the world. No, 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 por favor. Stop it. <laughs> and you know what? If that's what you're called to do, that's fine. But it doesn't work for me. I know that I have a clear mind, especially since I have a three-year-old, uh, a toddler. And I have a thriving community that I am supportive and that I, you know, facilitate. Um, I need to, you know, take care of myself. And how I take care of myself is that I wake up early. I'm an early riser. You know, I try to wake up at 5 a.m. I've gotten back in the routine ever since I, I got over my... 
I was sick. I had pneumonia for a while. So I'm back on, on, on it. You know, five, I'm a 5 a.m. -er. I'm, you know, eating good. Today I went to the, to the store and I bought myself a bunch of delicious vegetables. Um, I'm, I'm meditating. Um, I'm, in my, I'm in the conversation with spirit and I'm walking every day, daily, you know, channeling, you know, asking spirit for guidance and channeling my own answers. This is how we live our happy. But it goes with, you know, living in this vortex of reality. And I know that when I eat well and I sleep well and I go to sleep early and, and, I, and I take care of myself, okay, let's call taking care of myself, self-care, I know that I'm going to have a clear mind. I know that I'm going to have a clearer mind if, 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 if I'm doing these things because I'm naturally happier. Um, so let's play in the world knowing that we're not of it because that is the truth. But we can play inside it and realize that, you know, we can, we can, we, we can be in a body and also do things in the world and not let this world define us. You know, then again, you know, as long as you know that your body doesn't define you, as long as you know that your job doesn't define you, as you, as you, you know, as long as you know that, you know, this material things don't define you, you could, you could enjoy them. You could enjoy them. And at the same time, know that God defines you, that know that your source is God, that you know that God, God completes you. That is muy importante. Okay. Letting go of grief and allowing a new life and love is my challenge. Exactly. It's everybody's challenge, Nina. Everybody's challenge. That's why I'm here to just remind ourselves. I have it too. You know, I I was like feeling stuck a few months ago, waking up late. But then again, you know, I was also sick. I was recovering from pneumonia. I had twice, two times pneumonia. So I said, you know what? I'm, I'm so oversleeping. I'm, uh, you know, I'm eating whatever. And I'm not getting my weight off that I've been wanting to get off since I had my child. Um, I don't feel as, as um, energetic. Um, and then, you know, I was like, no, no more compromising. No more compromising. I need to get this in check. I need to start to be uncompromising. Wake up early, eat right, etc. So I hope you guys are hearing me. Um, thank you, Deb. I'm so excited that you that you love this message. You know, um, I always say authenticity, sexy girlfriend. I feel like authenticity, sexy, keeping it real. Um, so especially when you feel like your whole world is falling apart, it's so hard to ignore what's going going on around you. Yes, exactly. You know, it's when your whole world is falling apart. I feel like that's when we need to really also really take care of ourselves. That's how we start to experience a different world is when we start to take care of our mind, our thoughts, and then we're, it's easier to change to, to, you know, to be able to sit with spirit and change our mind and thoughts when we have a clear mind, when we have a healthy, you know, healthy way of eating or, or, or you know, healthy way of sleeping and, and awaking, early risers, you know, going to bed early, all these things like we just have a clear mind. We have a clear mind. If that makes sense. Yes, Deb, enough is enough enough is enough the time has come okay so i just want to let you guys know if you're interested um i i was inspired today i was at 7 and 7 a.m drawing blood this morning because i want my doctor to check my hormone levels and all these things so um i was sitting there waiting for my appointment and i got this site download because right now i have a nine week group going on for my book which is incredible and i love how we hold ourselves accountable on there and and what's incredible i just love it love it love it i love this group atmosphere and this group rooting each other on i will be doing a 30 or 60 day coaching okay with a group of 10 people that want to begin to live the course of miracles to live their happy <laughs> to have a daily schedule and routine so Every day, you know, I'm going to, you know, we're going to be guided on the WhatsApp group. Um, we're going to be rooting ourselves on to wake up early. Um, we're going to be given like a, a miracle map of your day, like um, the, the, the ideal day of how to wake up, you know, meditation, um, all these things like to set up your day from when you wake up to you go to bed. Um, you know, for instance, like stopping electronics at 8 p.m., like a lot, a lot of different things that I do that are very, very helpful. So all these tips that I'm doing that I love, I want to share with my community, but do it all together. Um, I'm already started. I've already started. So, so I just want others if they want to join me. So it's going to be a group of 10. Um, check out my latest post on my personal page, which is um, at Rev Maria Felipe. I don't know if I can even put it here, but it's at R-E-V Maria Felipe. You can find it on my link tree and you can... Um, 
go ahead and um, check on on the on the link tree and look at my latest post and DM me if you want to be part of this group. There's, it's only going to be 10 people and um, you will be hold, held accountable for, you know, the 30 days or 60 days of, of exercising, of eating right and um, doing your morning, your morning um, med meditations, you know, connecting to spirit um, every day, you know, doing your Course in Miracles lesson if that's what you're doing. It's basically how to have a daily thriving schedule so you can have a clear mind and, and live more in your truest self. That's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna be 10 people. Um, my tribe meditation, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just check out my, just message me. Message me on here and um, I'll let you know. Um, Tiffany, awesome girlfriend, good. So we have two people already, that's two. We have, let's see how many, how many we have eight more places left, eight more. Um, I have opened this up to my one-on-one -on -one clients too, so um, they might be on, in and I need to also give them preference since they're working working with me one-on-one -on -one and this helps them as well. So um, my tribe, awesome. I want it. Perfect SG. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so um, yes, Tiffany, there is a cost. Um, just private message me and I'll give you those details and you let me know if, if, if that works for you. I'm also going to do a payment plan. Um, it's not going to be a lot. It's just, you know, going to hold you accountable. Make sure you make that investment as well, because I feel like when we pay for things, we do it. <laughs> so Sarah, thank you. I was trying to think of, of the name again, but I remember that I spoke, um, I did your question that one time. So, um, awesome. So I hope you join my live your happy coaching group. Um, it's going to include a weekly coaching session with me on zoom. Um, we're also going to hold ourselves accountable on WhatsApp with the daily routine that we're doing um you need to be willing um there are some re requirements and if you aren't you can't do the requirements then you can't be in the group because you're gonna have to be an early riser you're gonna have to wake up by 6 a.m um and and be willing to to eat mostly plant-based for 30 days um as well as be active in the whatsapp group and there's just you know we just got to get out of our own way we got to start to do hard things um so we can get incredible results um so let me know. Um, I've already got three of you marked down here that you're interested. Three or four of you, um, do me a message. Do me a favor and um, message me on my private um, page, which is at R E V Maria Felipe. You can find my page on this page, and um, or message me on here. On here, it's a little harder because there's so many messages coming in that I can't read them all. So my personal is easier, but I'll try to read them here. Okay. Um, Yes, Sarah, right, and a routine. So we're going to get our daily routine. I'm going to give it to you. It's called um, the Miracle, the, the, create a Miraculous Day Map. So um, it's going to be the routine, like how to wake up in the morning, what to do in the morning, um, how to eat during the day, and then how to end your day, um, what time to turn off the electronics, how to, you know, meditate before you go to bed to sleep well. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be incredible. And my coaching one on one is, is expensive for people. So I feel like if I do it like in a group, it'll be easier for people to be able to have access to to this. So let's do it. All right, everyone. I'll see you guys later. Remember to live this stuff. Remember to live the Course of Miracles and to bring it into your life and to be uncompromising and stop making exceptions. Forgive even if you don't want to take responsibility for your life let go of being the victim and ultimately remember that you have everything and you lack nothing love you like a big coconut see you later